We bring in our reporter Nozindombi Mia, who is uh, monitoring the situation in El Dorado Park and Westbury following shootings that claimed five lives since Friday. All the deceased were shot in their faces in what is believed to be suspected gang violence. Nozindombi, a good morning to you. I mean, tragic news that we're hearing there about the levels of violence that we're hearing about coming out of El Dorado Park and Westbury over the last few days. Let's talk about, let's chat to Amanda about where she was born and um, she's in Fishuk now, but this is not where she was born. So we're going to literally just go on a little bit of a tour. Do you want to talk to us about the, the, the space that you were born in? I was born in Benson. I was born in the south of France. Um, my father in Toulon. My father was a Navy man. And we came back when I was about two and lived in Simonstown, the deep south, um, Musenberg, Bishop, all along the coast. Went to school here. Then Simonstown Primary. Simonstown Primary. I've been to Bishop High School. Okay. Did you, did you, did you finish there? I finished at Fisher, okay. and um, then I went to Johannesburg when I was 18, okay. uh, Pretoria for 11 or 12 years, uh, where I got married and had three beautiful daughters. Oh, wow. Just give us their names. Jessica, Melissa, and Jamie Lee. Okay. And they still they up there in Johannesburg, and then I moved back to Cape Town about I think it's 11 or 12 years ago. Okay. And um, yeah, let's find myself back in the deep south and loving it. How can you partner with Arise? If you want to know more about us, our website is arisefamily.org. We and on... also appear where my finger is now because we can yes. edit. So, where I'm saying this, <laughs> you saw Benson's finger, he's going to edit. That was what that was. I remember it makes me, my ADHD brain's got so much going on now. Let me focus. But what we want to do is arisefamily.org. We are on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and on Facebook for the older generation. It's at Arise Family SA. If you look, you will get updates of what we're doing, who we are. We can send you newsletters if you're someone who doesn't necessarily want to be on social media. Our director, Daniel Masaji, writes us frequently. So that's the second thing, is I would like awareness of who we are raised. We have trained up international cohorts. Our training has gone as far as New Zealand and the Cayman Islands. We are always about strengths-based, we are about resilience building, about attachment, and then how together do we come together within that space so that we're using your strengths. And a nice classic example of that is if you have a child that can convince five friends to bunk school to go and do something else, that is a leader. Is he using his powers correctly? No. How do we help him do that? How do we help you as parents help him channel those powers in the right direction? Because if you can convince five kids to do that, that takes skill. It's the same with you entrepreneurs that are selling stuff they should not be selling. How do we redirect that? That is a strength. There is something in them that is awesome. What do we do with that? How do we help them? That's what we want to see as a rise. So go and look at the work we do. I believe in what we do. I've always believed in what we do, but we can't do it on our own. And so the last thing I want to say is partnership with Somalele, with Arise, with our projects, means a win-win for everybody. We know that when children are captured by love, by belonging, by knowing who they are, they make better choices, their self-esteem is better, and we will change the trajectory of our community stories, which in turn changes the trajectory of our country. And so for me, this isn't small, it's big. Come partner with us.